a neuroendocrine tumor can potentially exacerbate mast cell symptoms. Since my dad and Selena went night fishing, my mom and I decided that we were going to wake up this morning and try to go to the farmer's market. I have Where are we going Green Lake. pushing me until I get <clears throat> until we get to the market so I don't get too tired. Cheyenne maneuvering herself. What fruit did you want to get? The only thing I really wanted to get is tomatoes. Or ale house. I don't know what you want me to do. The happy berry. All right, we'll catch up with this in a few minutes. There's gardenia here. There's purple asparagus. Where? Right here. We're gonna get a fig. That's what you want. Blue box is for acid loving. Green is all purpose. Lavender is a bloom booster. Hi, I want a fig tree, please. Excellent. Do you see one in there that catches your eye? Give it this. This one okay? Yeah. There's our fig tree. Well, we made it. Yay, we made it. We both we made it. Made it. <clears throat> Thankful. I wish I was able to take my mask off, but I'm not going to push it. No, <laughs> let's just keep it that way and just don't worry about any stairs. People looked at me a lot. Yeah, well, wouldn't you? If you saw somebody that had a, definitely a mask like that, isn't something people see every day. Yeah, I guess. So, curiosity's more than saying, oh, that girl looks weird. I don't know, it just gets me self-conscious. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just do a picture. <laughs> Don't wait. Tell me we, are, we are going to chill again. Please. <laughs> wait, wait, tell me. I got this. But you're really going to look at that. It's a horrible face. <laughs> but look at that one. <laughs> That's a boomerang. <laughs> Will you send me that? Can, yes, I, I, can I Instagram it? Yes. Toby, what are you doing? Go see Shays. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? Toby! Toby, go say hi! Come here! Come here! Go say hi! Go say hi! Don't be shy! Okay. That's your right number. Let's try to get out of the frame, Toby. Let's see, Toby, can you sit? Hey, Toby! Can you sit? Sit! Can you sit? Good boy! Okay. Can you give me your paw? <laughs> no. Moose is like, wait a minute, I want to be in on this. Yeah, Moose is jealous. Jealousy is not an attractive trait. Moose. I see you. You're a good boy. Okay, the camera's like standing up. So today we are at endocrinology. We called yesterday and we got an appointment for today at 3.15, which was awesome because the next opening was not until August. I was looking through my records and one of the doctors is speculating that a neuroendocrine tumor can potentially exacerbate mast cell symptoms. And in my records from 2013, it shows that I have a pituitary adenoma. Microadenoma. Micro and 
so this appointment is trying to get labs to see if it is actually interfering with any of the levels. All we have is a workup from 2013 and we don't even know if it was necessarily pertaining to the pituitary tumor. I don't even think these labs that they ran from 2013 have anything to do with that. Like the BHBT, which was high. LD, which was high. Thyroid stuff all off, which now, of course, it's going to be off because I was on steroids, but back then I was not. And I found that this very interesting, Mama, the histidine. Mm -hmm. Because histidine converts to histamine. And it was high. And it was high. And the scan was kind of vague. It says there may be a tumor. Not that there was 100% certainty. They had the cleaning car out in the hallway of this office. But luckily I escaped it. Yeah, because I had to do the awkward thing. It's saying, you see that little girl over there? If she smells this, she will go into anaphylaxis. Can we hold off? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll come back. I'll come back. I um, normally don't schedule appointments for this time of day because this starts where I start going downhill, kind of. But I really needed this appointment because I wanted to bring the records to Dr. Afrin when I see him in July. And because the next appointment was not available until August, I would not have been able to do that unless I took today's appointment. And this was the office that I was at last time and had to leave in the middle of it because they were having a staff um, lunch around Christmas and someone brought in Italian food and it was a bunch of garlic at the wrong time and it sent me into a reaction and I was seeing stars and we just kind of had to skedaddle. And so the nurse who had me today was just saying that she remembered me. She remembered seeing us running out of the building. It was her first day. She was training. Huh. It would be great if we could treat the tumor if it was actually interfering and then potentially make my mast cells better. I have a really bad habit, you know, of not looking at the camera when I'm talking because it makes me feel awkward. And so I kind of look around and sit at the camera. done he just ran a vitamin D because he noticed how pale I was and I got a new glucose meter with strips and a case and they ordered an MRI without contrast and we're just going to pray that it actually shows something and they can see when I had my other one they did use contrast but I was not having the mast cell issues to the extent I am now I had never had a full bone reaction in my life, so I was tolerating everything, but now I do not tolerate this dye for the scans. So like I said, we're just going to pray it is enough. And these are the elevators that I hate. This elevator makes me feel really claustrophobic. Why? It's nice. It's... When I was younger. I played softball and I was at the batting cages and I went to the bathroom at the batting cages and someone had went into the bathroom, shut off all the lights and I think they were closed. to lock up for the night and I got stuck in that bathroom and I couldn't see, I didn't have a cell phone on me and the whole experience just traumatized me and ever since then I do not like spaces where I feel I could easily get stuck in and elevators are one of them. How are you going to do on the and MRI then? That, that, MRIs are fine yeah because as long as I can see out like I see a way out in the MRI so they don't bother me at all but um, with places like elevators there's no way out because the door is mechanical and it either is going to open or it's not. I just got back from my endocrinology appointment and I'm testing our meters. Look how cute they gave a green carrying case.
What do you do? Did you follow the directions? I thought I did. No, shy. Number one, you wash your hands. Did you do yeah, that? Yes, I did. Number two, you get the lancet set in there. You did I'm that, did that, did that. Um, okay. Then, you put the strip in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like this. This, yes, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, this one registered 67. I don't want to compare them. Wants to do it. Okay, let's just do this one. Lisa, what are you doing? Okay. Now to the side. Mm hmm Goodness. Oh, it beeped. Mm -hmm. It beeps when it gets enough. Okay, 71. Lisa's okay. making sure his mommy's okay. Ooh, He's just dog. tired. You've had a rough day. Weasley and I thank you for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.